reading, Frank? A book. What's it about? It's about 320 pages. Uh, very funny. Thank you. It's about logic. I'm learning about logical thinking. Why? It offers answers that we don't get from faith. But what is logic? It's when you assume fact from information. Hmm. Like what? If I were to say to you, do you have a fish? And you said yes, then I can assume that you have a fish pond. Or a fish tank? Or a fish tank, yes. But for argument's sake, let's say it's logical that you have a fish pond. Right. You don't get it, do you? Mm, not really. OK. If you have a fish, then I can logically assume you have a fish pond. Oh. Thus, if you have a fish pond, I can logically assume that you have a big garden. Understand? Sort of. I can assume you have a big garden because you need a big garden to house a fish pond. Furthermore, if you have a big garden, then I can assume, due to logical thinking, that you have a big house. The two usually go hand in hand. So I can make that assumption. That is logic. Ah, uh, so you're guessing. Yes, but it's more rational than just guessing. How? If you have a big house, then I can assume that you're rich, well off. And if you're rich and well off, you're usually successful in other aspects of your life. For example, people who are rich and wealthy are usually successful with their ladies. Oh. oh. So logically, if you're successful with ladies then, logically speaking, mm -hmm. you don't masturbate as much. I suppose so, yeah. That makes sense. <clears throat> <laughs> That's logic. Yep. So logically, if I don't have a fish, I must be a wanker. Logically, yes. <laughs>